What's up guys? So this video is going to be amazing, especially if you're a young guy, you got to listen to his story. He's 24 now, but he started investing in real estate when he's 20. He owns six properties. Of course, he sold some of them to buy an eight unit building. Actually, we are right now in his building. He is redoing the whole freaking building, eight unit brand. He's making it a brand new close to University of Windsor. It's going to be a cash flow king. So we're going to hear his story. We're going to hear about his project. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for hopping on. If you haven't still hit that subscribe button, please do so for an awesome content regarding real estate and realtor journey. So without any due, guys, Amir, first of all, thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you for having so, me on your channel. I know, you, I know you for a while, Yeah, yeah that's but I want the audience to know who you are. So my name is Amir. Um, I've been investing in real estate for four, four and a half years now. Um, I originally started in Windsor, Ontario, and I was working as a server bartender in Toronto, and that's where I originally grew up. And I was just working and working because I had just dropped out of school. I needed a way to kind of keep busy. So I worked as a server and a bartender, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy a house. I'm going to buy a house because I think, I think that, that's, that's just a good idea. Why not just buy a house? I looked in Toronto, I looked in Hamilton, I looked in Guelph, nothing by any means was close to my, uh, I could not afford anything <laughs> in, in any, any of those cities. Um, but I heard about Windsor and it was four hours away and I heard it was the worst city to, an inve to invest in because number one, nobody wants to invest there. Nobody wants to, nobody wants to buy properties in Windsor. It's, it's, it's a terrible city. It's overrun by drugs and it's all I hear are bad stories. So, like, <laughs> so when was this? This was when I was 20. This was 20. When I was so 20. which is like 2015, 2015, 16. Exactly. 2015, yeah. 16. And I said, okay, I have to invest there. I'm going to go. <laughs> so I went, I went to, I went to Windsor. I called a couple agents beforehand and said, can I look at these properties? And I, I did a bunch of showings and I saw little houses near the university for $70,000, $100,000, $80,000. I was like, okay, wait a second. If I can buy a house and the, and everything is, all the expenses are like 600 bucks, but it rents out for 1500 or a thousand, then why not just buy like six? So I made my New Year's resolution in that year to buy six houses. I only got to four. But okay, got, hold on, was, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are so many things I want to know here. Yeah. First of all, why real estate? Because you're working, you're, you're, yeah. you're, you dropped out your school. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you started jobs. Yeah. But how, like, why did you want to get into real estate? Um, to be honest, I just, real estate was, it wasn't so much, real estate that was very attractive it's just i wanted to do something more difficult something a little bit i wanted to pursue something interesting mm -hmm. and something that i could be passionate about so i just i was trying different things i was thinking about bus different business ideas mm -hmm. like crazy business ideas that i could start but buying a house was simple and it was crazy so i just i just did that so how did you get the money for your first deal so when i bought my first house i was actually dead broke i had zero money um but I was working with a server and mm -hmm. I worked with a bunch of servers, right? Because I was a server myself. I had a mm -hmm. bunch of coworkers and servers actually make a lot of money and they save a lot of their money. And some of them are very, very smart with their money. Um, one girl, her name was, I, I, maybe I won't say her okay, name. Okay. That's okay. But, <laughs> but her house actually got robbed. Ooh. Her house got robbed and they, they ransacked the entire house, but they did not find the 40 grand cash that she had saved up over the years serving. Ooh. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> so um, I said, hey, look, you almost got like, like, do you want to put that money to use? I'm trying to buy a house. And she was like, okay, what are the terms? And I said, okay, I'll borrow $10,000 and I'll give you 11 back at the end of the year. And then so she was like, uh, okay, deal. So we shook hands in the middle of the restaurant. We're like, deal. We shook hands, signed a contract later on. She gave me 10 grand cash and I had to go find a house. So I went, I looked all over and I found a house on Wyandotte Street um, near the university because I knew I could get more rent for, for students. Yeah. I knew I could get more rent for students and the house pricing, if you look in the right area, was cheap. 
So I found a really, really- In that time. At the time, <laughs> not anymore. So I looked and I found a house for $68,000 mm -hmm. um, on Wyandotte Street East, walking distance to the university. And I said, okay, look, it's rented out for 800 right now, but once these tenants move out, I'm gonna rent them out. And I'm gonna get 1500 a month for the whole house. So $70,000 house, $1,500 a month. That's like the 2%. So you got the mortgage? I got the mortgage. I got them because it was super easy back then to get a mortgage. Yeah. I don't know why, but all of a sudden things are changing. Yeah. But um, <laughs> so I got the house, the tenants moved out. I rented it out for 1500. Um, and I pretty much did the same thing three more times. After that, I just borrowed money. Man, house, that, that's, money, that's freaking cool house. because yeah. you know, if you're a young kid, especially young person, this is something really I didn't know back then. Like it's, it's a simple concept. Like go ask the people, if you have the right deals, people will lend you money, right? Like 10%, exactly. 15%, whatever. If the deal makes yeah. sense, if the deal makes sense, money yeah. will come. Exactly. Th yeah. That's freaking awesome, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. So from there onwards, why this eight unit building, man? <laughs> so I had, I had four houses at the end of that year. Mm -hmm. I was collecting good rent, mm -hmm. my mortgages were low, and I was working as a server, I was making good money as a server too. So I was living lavish for four years, and eventually things were getting a little bit like kind of boring and monotonous. It was actually three years, three years. I was living lavish for three mm -hmm. years, and eventually things started getting like boring and monotonous. I wanted to do something bigger with my life. Yeah. So I packed my bags in Toronto and moved to Windsor, and I said, I'm just going to figure it out. I'm just going to figure it out. Um, like a bunch of mistakes later, I'm telling you like a thousand <laughs> mistakes, thousands and thousands of mistakes later, I am here today with this building fully tenanted well, soon. There's tenants are moving in soon. And, um, what's yeah. your, what's your worst nightmare that you can remember? <sighs> <laughs> so many, <laughs> so many nightmares. To the top honest. one, the top one would be. I'm putting you in are the. You, are you sure you guys? Are you yeah, sure yeah, you sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um. So when we were doing this building, mm -hmm. we needed more hands because it was I. Had, it was me. I had I had a good friend named Rob working for me and Josh, who's working for me right now. Mm -hmm. We were all just trying to piece this monster of a building together just by ourselves because that's the best way I thought about going about it. Yeah. Um, but we needed more hands. So I contacted someone on Kijiji and I said, look, can you help us out? He knew what he was talking about, but from the get go, he seemed very, very crazy. Um, and, but I, I don't know, for some reason I, I, we ended up working together. Um, it turns out this guy is, is a criminal, was a criminal, has been to jail wow. multiple times. Wow. Um, <laughs> legitimately a gangster Ooh. um always in trouble with the law and extremely good at manipulating people i'm talking like extremely good at manipulating people or just really good at manipulating me <laughs> <laughs> and it might be that because a lot of the people that were working in the building were just like why would you ever like want to work with this guy but for some reason he was just really good at manipulating me or people <laughs> probably was good at manipulating me and what ended up happening is that um, he ended up walking away with a lot more money than he should have. Hmm. Um, so put some dent in your pocket. It put a huge dent, a huge, huge dent in my pocket. Like I ended up losing like at least five to seven thousand dollars from from this guy because, and then he just kind of walked away. So a lot of learning lessons and hmm. a lot of mistakes. And again, like that's just one mistake. I, yeah. And I could go so deep into that <laughs> one story and. So, no, that, yeah, that, okay. that's deep, I know. But, but like, have you ever thought that giving up? You know, it's, it's freaking hard. Like, I cannot imagine myself doing all these renovations with hiring a sub trade, you mm. know, at your age. Have you ever thought giving up? Thought about giving up? No, I, because I couldn't. The, the good thing about real estate is that like, you have so many people behind you that are mm -hmm. just like, look, we're here to support you because we want you to win. Because if you win, I make more money. Yeah. So everybody is just, the mortgage agent was like, mm -hmm. look, you get it to a certain point, we'll give you more money to finish the project. Yeah. The guys were like, if you just keep paying us, we're going to keep working. Yeah. So they kept working. Everybody was kind of supporting. Now, me personally, going through this whole thing has been extremely, extremely um, tough on 
on my mind yeah it's, it's been very it's been a very no. tough mental battle yeah in order to keep everything together um especially because i was i didn't have the full budget that i that we needed i i didn't have enough employees i didn't have enough experience i didn't have enough this i didn't have enough i didn't have enough of anything yeah but um so it, it really it really tested me in terms of like okay like how well are you going to keep this together and to be honest i didn't keep it together a hundred percent all the time there were a lot of times where it was just like oh my gosh i just i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this but what you know, keeps you going what kept me going well the fact is that like you just you just gotta keep doing it you just gotta keep doing it you just gotta, like you you just have to identify the one thing that you need to do in order for the thing to keep going in order for you to get closer to your goal a lot of the times it was find more money yeah so i learned how to raise a lot of money from a lot of different people to get this building up to up to where yeah it what is it now. is right now yeah yeah so now yeah. i remember i remember those calls when you <laughs> call <laughs> i would call aditya i would call aditya's friends i would call so many people and say like look like i can offer you a good a good return on investment and mm -hmm. you invest with me and it, it's pretty much the same thing as with the server because i knew okay like the building went up for this much i can buy it for this much and no matter how much I spend on the building up to a point, up to a crazy amount of money, we're still going to be cash flowing. Yeah. So it, it made intuitive sense that, I, so why not just share that with other people who can lend me the money and I can give them more profits back? Yeah. No, I, I, I always like, you know, from the beginning, actually from the day one where we met, yeah. surprisingly, we wanted to buy a 25 units building together. 37. 37, units, sorry, 37 I forgot. Building, yeah, yeah. So. Because, because of that mindset, right? Like yeah. you want to do lower, you want to get this, no matter how many struggles you're going to come across. Yeah. And there will be always struggles. It's, it's not like a, if it's a free thing, mm -hmm. you won't know the value of it. Mm -hmm. I so looked, yeah. you know what i think uh, it's 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 i'm gonna pause it here in yeah. this video because check out the next video where we're gonna talk about the project in detail so guys stay tuned because it's gonna it's gonna go for longer i i, I think it has some great content that's why um, i'm gonna end up the video here thank you so much for hopping on amir thank you so much on thank this you, thank you thank so check out the next video where you will have uh, all the project details thank you have a wonderful day